Okay, so here you can see we're in our dried riverbed and this is pretty bone dry here. So let's have a look up here so you can just get an idea. Let's have a look, okay, our dried riverbed. Right, so what we're going to do here is I uh, started digging here. We're going to see if we can find some water at any reasonable depth and I'll show you if I can find it, how to get it out the best way I reckon. Okay. Now, biggest, one of the biggest problems is digging a hole looking for moisture is the rest of it caving in on you. You know, so, and you're not going to have a shovel, that's for sure. Okay, so the good thing here is I can start to see damp sand pretty close to the surface. It's usually the case, but let's just see. So we've got some damp sand there. Now, all of you that are out there saying, you know, using knives to dig with, try using your knife to dig with in this, you're just going to destroy it, okay? So, that's why that is complete robotics. You don't use knives to dig with, use other implements. Alright, let's see what we can find here. big one there, Let's see if we can shake that. That's a problem when you're digging in a riverbed, come across some huge rocks which will thwart your attempts. To get down deep. Okay, we've got definitely damp sand here now. Question is, can that lead to water? Let's just have a closer look at that. I'll take the camera off. Hold on a minute. It's starting to be a bit of dampness in there, but we're a long way from the water. Okay, let's keep going. Now what I'm going to go do now is get a stick. Making a bit of a digging stick here. So we're getting deeper now and the sand is definitely getting wet. You can see that there, which is a good sign. Now the other problem is when people tell you about digging holes is this, you see that? It's preventing all that dry stuff falling back in the hole, but I've got a trick for that. Finally struck water after that's about uh, half an hour uh, of, of digging, okay. Uh, 
using both hands and sticks to preserve the hands. Let's have a look at my hands. My hands, a bit cleaned up, nails, ripped a few nails. Uh, that's what they look like. Okay, well, you might say, why are you using your hands? Well, if there's no stones or sticks around, you might have to use your hands. It's a good reason to keep short nails. That nail's been ripped back a bit there. Anyway, is how you're gonna get that water out of there now because that's a deep hole. Okay, this is how we're gonna do it. Watch this. Okay, this is why I carry with me a uh, arm's length of high quality, very flexible plastic tubing. This happens to be Tigon tubing. That's a type that's used in the scientific industry a lot. It's food grade. Uh, it won't, it, it keeps its flexibility even at really low temperatures. That's not a problem here, of course. So let's see if we can suck some water out of this hole, okay? Not yet, almost, almost. Oh, we got some water in there. Water's coming out, okay. Here we go. Just gonna make that a bit deeper. Use the stick. What we don't wanna do is, we don't want to, uh, we don't wanna cave this in now, and that's why we've got the tube. So, ordinarily, I'm gonna say, you wouldn't do this, uh, in the heat of the day, like I'm doing it now, you do it late at night in the shade. Here we go. There you go, some water. And it's um, muddy, but it's drinkable. There's the water. It's all right, it's a bit muddy, but it's okay. Spit out the dirt. There you go. Okay, so that's it there. You can see the whole the amount of earth removed. That's all you need. You know, the minimal effort. If you have to dig a really huge hole, it'll take a lot more effort. Okay? Now, really, let's go up here. Hold on. Here's our dry riverbed. Here we are here. Here's our hole. Now, smart thing, really, if this wasn't over here, this bush, that's where I'd go and look for water over there at the base of those hills. And that's where we're going right now. But if those hills weren't there, and you were just faced with this here, so there you go, pretend that that's all you've got. You're gonna have to dig that hole in there for some water. Okay, thanks for watching.